Today we have a little bit of news when it comes to Halo Infinite's setting for the story of the campaign of Halo Infinite and how to get some free seasonal points in the MCC right now. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So today we have a nice little combo pack of news. We got some infinite news. We have some MCC news. If you're here for one or the other, timestamps in the description of this video. The one bit of Halo Infinite news we have relates to a new book that's been related. Kind of gives you a little bit more context of what to expect for Halo Infinite's campaign and some interesting things of fixes and how to get your free seasonal points in the MCC. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, Make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So ever so often we do get these new cannon fodder updates from Grim Brother One, Lord Daddy himself. And today he talked about the new reveal of a book that's coming for Halo Infinite. And the book is called Halo the Rubicon Protocol. Now within this image, there are some interesting things I want to point out to you guys. But first let's go over the context of what this book is about and how it ties into the gameplay of Halo Infinite. Saying here, Halo Infinite's campaign begins roughly six months after UNSC forces were ambushed at Zeta Halo. During that time, the UNSC had been mounting a resistance on a shorn fragment of the ring, desperately trying to hold out long enough for Hope to arrive in Halo Rubicon Protocol, you'll get a unique glimpse of humanity's struggle to survive amidst a growing banished occupation that takes place in that period. They also do want to say, to be clear, this is a standalone story. You don't need to read this story to understand the events of Halo Infinite. This book is just for you lore boys who just want to know as much as possible about the stories that are told within the Halo universe. And this book doesn't drop until March of 2022, so we all have some time to anticipate this. But I want to show you guys the cover art, which is quite interesting. Here is the full scale image, amazing art created by William Pixel Flare himself. And trust me guys, anything that Will does, it's amazing art. So you really do need to follow him. But let's get into what this picture actually kind of reveals about Halo Infinite. First, let's take a look at this Spartan on the right side here. You can see he's wearing some kind of unique armor set that we haven't really seen yet before, at least the shoulder pads and stuff like that. Maybe this helmet does look a little different compared to what we've seen previously for the Mark 7. But more importantly, what I want to point out is this assault rifle that we see right here. This isn't like the Halo Reach M40 assault rifle that we've been seeing for Halo Infinite all throughout literally every bit of art that we've seen for Halo Infinite. This assault rifle looks to be the MA5D assault rifle that we had in Halo 5, which is kind of interesting since every single piece of art that we, like I said earlier, have we seen of Halo Infinite has featured the MA40 new like Halo Reach influence assault rifle. And I do believe the events of Halo Infinite take place roughly five-ish years after the events of Halo 5. So still seeing that weapon in rotation could possibly mean something tied to Halo Infinite. But again, that's just pure speculation. We also have not seen this type of armor coating again this could just be artistic freedom right here that pixel flare decided to go with but it does look quite awesome as well as the helmet which is also kind of unique from what we've seen previously now with these two different spartans on the left here we see one holding a sniper rifle looks very true to the sniper rifle that we see maybe like in halo 5 as well could be the s7 sniper rifle that we have in halo infinite as well as those two models are very similar again we see a different type of armor coating with the spartan it looks kind of like a different kind of like almost like a half breed of the mark 7 helmet visor and like an eva kind of visor again might be looking a little more into that but also we look at the spartan on the left you see them holding a DMR while having like the Mark 7 armor set that we know for Halo Infinite. So could this also mean that the DMR might be returning as well? Obviously no guarantees. It could just be artistic interpretation, but something I wanted to bring to your guys' attention. Of course, you can obviously see the ring fragments kind of flying off into the distance and we have some sentinels over there as well. Maybe trying to do some construction work on the whole fixing of the ring. We don't know, but overall some interesting things to take note of. And to top off the news guys, we got some MCC great stuff for us as well as we did get a development update on Friday as we always do. For the most part, just kind of recapped all the good stuff that comes with Season 7. But of course, not all of Season 7's release was great as there were some matchmaking issues that really made it kind of difficult to find games because people kept getting stuck in leaving match screens the entire time, which made player counts really tough to find, matches really tough to find. 
I kept getting kicked out of games and things like that. But it looks like that issue has been resolved with the MCC. And 343 has actually rewarded us players with our patience by actually awarding us some seasonal points. As 343 states right here that they released a hot fix on Friday, saying that they have released a hot fix to alleviate an issue that many players were encountering. And they give a little bit back to the community for such a, you know, a little bit of a rocky start to the season. Don't forget, those who sign in during Season 7, you will receive three season points points to use as you see fit. This will certainly help me out because I really wasn't able to play any matchmaking to get any kind of seasonal points or XP because, well, we pretty much just stuck around playing the custom game browser on stream, which if you guys haven't followed us, link in the description down below and the pinned comment for our Twitch channel. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday night, starting off with an hour of Halo news, then moving into some games to play with you guys. Again, follow the Twitch channel to know when we do go live. So if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and the informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.